Well, hello there, everyone, and good evening on this cold Wednesday night. <laughs> I'm running a little late tonight, so I thought I'd get right on into it. I'm uh, William Brantley from uh, North Jackson, Tennessee, uh, on Walker Road, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. Uh, turned out to be a record-setting day for uh, North Jackson, Tennessee with temperatures and I guess I'll go right on into it right quick like. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday's uh, low temperature was 24 degrees. Uh, yesterday's high was 43 degrees. Uh, had uh, no precipitation of course yesterday. Uh, yesterday's highest wind gust <clears throat> was 21 miles per hour out of the north at 10:47 p.m. Yesterday's coldest wind chill was 16 degrees at 11:59 p.m. And uh, yesterday's uh, coldest low in West Tennessee was 24 degrees right here in North Jackson, Tennessee. And yesterday's highest temperature was 45 degrees in Savannah, Tennessee. Now today's climate data, as of uh, 5 p.m., it was uh, clear at that time and the temperature was uh, 20 degrees. The dew point was 14 degrees. Uh, the dew point was 3 degrees. The humidity was 48 percent. The wind was out of the north at 10 miles per hour and the barometric pressure was 30.61 inches of mercury. Now I have updated it as of 11 p.m. the skies were still clear here in North Jackson and the temperature was already down to 14 degrees here. Uh, the wind chill was already down again to 5 degrees and uh, the low temperature here in North Jackson was 14 degrees early this morning and it's back to 14 degrees right now and that 14 degrees by the way is a new record coldest low for uh, December 27th the old record was uh, 15 degrees set back in 1977 so we broke it here in North Jackson with a low of 14 degrees. Today's high temperature was only 27 degrees. That's also a new record coldest high for today. The old coldest high was 33 degrees. Uh, that was set back in 1977. Well, 1967 and 1977 and broken in 2017. So we had two records that we broke today. The coldest low and the coldest high. And we broke the coldest high by 6 degrees. Uh, like I said, the high was 27 and the record was 33. So we broke them both, especially the coldest high, by a pretty good margin there. So we've had a frozen day with uh, two records that we broke today. All right. Uh, no precipitation, of course, since midnight. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, the uh, lowest relative humidity today, at least as of 5 p.m., was 42%, and that was at 4 p.m. The highest would be 81%, and that was at 12, 1, and 8 a.m. this morning. <clears throat> Today's uh, lowest barometric pressure would be 30.52 inches and that occurred at 12 a.m. while the highest would be 30.68 inches and that occurred at 10 a.m. this morning. Now today's highest wind gust was 25 miles per hour out of the north at 619 a.m. I've already given you the, high, the coldest wind chill, 5 degrees, and that occurred at uh, 8 and 9 a.m., and again, of course, at 11 p.m. Uh, also, I then gave you some of the records. The hottest high today <laughs> uh, was 77 degrees, 
and that occurred in 2008 and uh, 2015, just two years ago. It was almost 80 degrees uh, with the high of 77. And today we had a record coldest high of only 27 degrees. My goodness, what a difference in the, in the highs there. And of course, the coldest high, like I mentioned now, is uh, 14 degrees in 2017. Ooh, it's cold out there, isn't it? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And of course, the previous record, like I mentioned, was 33 degrees in 1967 and 77, but now broken in 2017. The warmest low would be uh, 59 degrees in 1982, and the coldest low, like I mentioned, now 14 degrees in uh, 2017. And it might even drop one more degree since it's not quite midnight yet. But the oldest record uh, was 15 in 1977. So we're in, we're in the deep freeze, <laughs> needless to say. The rainfall record would be 1.40 in 1966. And the snowfall record, we had one inch of snow today on March of the December, rather, the 27th of uh, 1983. All right, that's the basic climate data for you. Let me run you through a few graphs and that would be it for tonight. I'm going to try to make it quick since I'm running so late because I've also got to turn around after the video and do my usual uh, written weather summary that takes a little time sometimes to do that. Uh, right now the radar is actually clear of any precipitation. Let's see if I can get the box here to show this okay. Uh, you can see, uh, let me see if I can pull this out a little bit, <clears throat> hold it up and let you see that Tennessee's in the clear. West Tennessee's in uh, precipitation at least, and should be in the clear for uh, clouds too. Alright, let me move on to uh, the regional. Uh, oh yeah. As far as precipitation goes, most of the precipitations to our south is clear here in Tennessee. To not get a good angle on it here. Most of the precipitations to our south along the Gulf Coast. And it's moving east as you can see. There's an area of snow to our north, north of St. Louis up in Iowa. It's moving east also. In other words, away from Jackson. Oops, that light ain't going. That's too close there. I, I know what I'm doing wrong. Let me correct this real quick, and maybe the video will be a little bit better. I've got my keypad on the wrong side. That's why it's not coming in any better. There we go. Pardon the distraction here momentarily. I'll put that back like it was. And go on to the national view. Alright. Now you see the nation as a whole? That's a little bit better. You can see where the precipitation is across the nation. Down around the Gulf. A little snow up to our north. Up an hour and on up to Canada and spotty there in the Plain States and then the Pacific Northwest. All of that's moving east. So again, it's not going to bother us here in Tennessee. The little spots up there around the Great Lakes, that's lake effect snow. And there's been some areas up there along the, the, near the Great Lakes that's gotten a lot of snow. Now nearly, uh, uh, I was something, so I've, I've heard reports of Five feet in some locations up there. Doesn't look that heavy on the radar, but uh, there's reports of a lot of snow up in the portions of the northeast and uh, 
I hadn't heard those reports over an hour yet, but uh, I've seen some dramatic reports of the snow up there uh, uh, covering a lot of areas. Thank goodness not here. <laughs> uh, hopefully it won't be that bad here. All right, let's move on to the satellite picture. <clears throat> and it looks... Uh, not all that terrible, not here in Tennessee at least. Ah, uh, no, that's fairly clear. With the exception of some thick clouds to our south, it's not that far south. But thank heavens uh, the clouds are moving east, not north or southeast, so leaves us in the clear, barely. <laughs> By a few miles, anyways. Because there's some clouds up north, too. That's that snow that's up an hour that's moving east. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been having some coughing uh, problems all day. That's one of the reasons why I'm so late uh, uh, getting the weather. I hadn't felt like doing it. I had a cough that wouldn't go away. It finally sort of let up. Okay, here's a southeastern uh, view of the country. Clouds drive south and north, but thank goodness we're right in between both of them, so we wind up with fair skies for the most part, and that should continue for at least the next couple of days or so, anyways, as long as they continue moving northeast. Alright, so zoom out to the nation real fast. And uh, there you see the nation as a whole. Thanks to AccuWeather, of course. So right here in Tennessee, well, we're in the clear and we'll continue being that way for the next couple of days. Because most of the clouds are pretty much moving due east. So uh, the neighbors to the north and south, they're going to have to contend with the clouds. We'll have to contend with a few ourselves. But uh, mostly speaking, it's going to be fair skies. And as a nation as a whole, I ain't going too fast for you. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and look at the weather map, the, the fronts and all that, uh, courtesy of AccuWeather. I'm sorry, uh, Weather Underground. Uh, courtesy of Un Weather Underground. There you see where the fronts are. Stationary, lows and highs, and big, huge, uh, that's a huge front. Way up there out the Atlantic, coming through Florida, with the rain along the Gulf Coast, and stretching all the way through northeast Mexico, actually. And then way up to Montana, and all the way up to the uh, Washington State there. Well, that's a long stretch there, isn't it? <laughs> for, uh, for that, but anyways. There you see the precipitation, that's the snow right there, it's moving eastward. And there's the rain south and it's moving eastward. Hey, we're in a good spot, aren't we? Right well, in between all that. <laughs> Alright, and that's going to continue for the next day or two. Let me get a slightly closer view of uh, the precipitation to our south. The rain is kind of hidden by the time at the bottom. But it's moving east, well away from us. And there's that snow up in uh, parts of Iowa and Illinois. And it's, like I said, moving east. So it's heading more toward Indiana and Ohio. Eventually New York and Pennsylvania. And there's uh, the rest of the map. Nothing going on here in Tennessee. A little tiny trough there in Arkansas. But it's not going to really affect us in a negative way. Not, not this time around, anyways. Alrighty, um, I'm going to go ahead, let's see, I did, <laughs> I forgot to bring up one. I knew it, I knew I would. Let me bring it up now, while I'm thinking about it. I accidentally forgot to bring this one up. It won't take but a second so I could read the forecast to you. A portion of it anyways and uh, take it from there 
I'm just about through, believe it or not. That may be one of the shortest ones I've ever made. That might be good news, too, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. Ah, uh, okay. It's generally speaking going to be fair skies for the rest of tonight. Mostly clear. Actually, on through at least Friday. And then fair on Saturday and Sunday. That's kind of a quick summary of the sky conditions. Uh, and actually mostly clear on Christmas, uh, not Christmas, but uh, New Year's Day. All right. Uh, otherwise, the, uh, the sun's going to be uh, rising uh, tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, at uh, 7.04 a.m. and be setting tomorrow evening at 4.50 p.m. The moon's going to be uh, rising at 1.27 p.m. tomorrow and set at 1.49 a.m. Friday morning. All right. And beyond that, it's going to have, like I said, fair skies for the most part with uh, low near 16 degrees tomorrow morning. I'm sorry for rubbing my eyes. Low near 16 degrees tomorrow morning. Well, wait a minute. It's going to be colder than that because it's already 14 degrees. Okay. I'm going to go with 12. Low tomorrow morning near 12 degrees. A high tomorrow should be about 36 degrees. Oh, yeah. There's one thing I do need to bring out. Hold on. Let me redo all this. Ah, there we go. And the winds should be out of the north at about 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. Like I said, it's sunny on Friday as well. With a low near 20 and a high of 42. Oh my goodness, it's going to warm up. <laughs> it's going to feel good. It's, it's like Friday even in the 40s. Uh, Saturday is going to be fair skies. With a low near 27 and a high of 41. And uh, Sunday... Uh, it appears like it's going to be uh, mostly cloudy, I do believe. Let me double check. Uh, well, uh, mostly cloudy during the morning hours and then becoming fair by noon, okay, for the rest of Sunday. With a low near 17 and a high of 25 degrees on Sunday, it's still pretty chilly. And then by Monday, uh, New Year's Day, it looks like it's going to be uh, mostly fair, mostly clear. Low near 11, Whew. still cold, Whew. and a high of uh, 25. And Thursday, Tuesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, the day after, January 2nd, it should be fair skies with low again near 11 and a high of 30. And oh, thank goodness it's going to slowly start warming up after New Year's a little bit. Uh, say Wednesday, uh, January 3rd, mostly clear. Low near 16, that's still mighty cold. And high of 36. We'll have winds generally out of the north each of those days around 10 to 15 to 20 miles per hour. It does look like the warming trend's coming our way with uh, highs uh, getting on up toward uh, uh, 50 degrees, actually. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. With highs, uh, I think I said near 50 degrees uh, toward, uh, well, when did that go? I just saw it. Oh, I know what happened. I got blocked by this thing. Uh, let me cut it off. I don't let to see it. Oh, that is the... Uh, well, I could have sworn I saw a high near 50... Oh, there it is. Uh, Monday, January the 8th. Highs in the lower 50s by then. January the 8th. Okay. Uh, and there's a chance of rain by then. <laughs> that sounds about right. Lower 37, high 53 on Monday, January the 8th. That's really, that's really getting on down into the 16-day outlook. Well, 15-day outlook. Anyways. Well, this is going to warm up uh, within a couple of weeks. Thank goodness. <laughs> and all. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, repeat uh, 
tomorrow's forecast will work quick like for you. It's going to be, like I said, mostly clear with low near, what would I say, 12 degrees. And uh, with the high of um, 36 tomorrow, that's actually going to be warmer. Getting it up to 36 degrees tomorrow. And I don't have tomorrow's records in front of me at this time. All right. I'm going to leave it at that since I'm running kind of a little late anyhow. Uh, once again, uh, we did break two records today. The low of uh, well, 14 degrees that we have right now. And uh, 15 was the old record in 77. And we smashed the coldest high with a high of only 27 degrees. And uh, the old one was 33 degrees and 67 and 77. Now broken in 2017. All right, that's it for tonight. Good night, folks. Uh, sweet dreams. Stay as warm as you possibly can. we got at least a two or three more fairly chilly days coming. And hopefully, uh, you know, and then you can go through New Year's Day and the day after. And finally, after that, we're going to slowly start easing up a little bit. So, uh, look like warmer weather coming toward the end of next weekend not this weekend but next weekend so the, the, do the best you can to bear with it eventually we'll get out of this cold weather and get back to more bearable weather but in the meantime bundle up <laughs> and stay warm best you can all right well that's it for tonight thank you for watching as always god bless you and hopefully i'll get back with you tomorrow night or closer to the regular timing i hope so anyways all right, until then, good night, God bless you, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.